This picket has been absolutely fantastic. I've been involved in pickets here for about the last 17 years and this is by <coughs> far, by far, the best picket we've ever, ever had. I've never seen so many numbers and everyone up for it, especially in this weather. We've been told that this strike will be insignificant, that we're not going to get anybody out, it won't make any difference. All we're doing is wasting our time, losing money, and affecting the students. What's interesting is that management had to run away to a court to stop our strike. I think we really do deserve a round of applause, everybody. What, what, I'm <laughs> what I'm suggesting is that we get our union banner and that we now all march together over to Clapham. The dispute is about the imposition of new contracts on the teaching staff at Lambeth College. Two weeks loss of holidays, extra hour contact time and an extension uh, of our working week. That's five weeks extra work with no extra pay. And uh, an erosion of our sick pay conditions. At the moment we get six months full pay if you're sick and then after the six months you get six months half pay. They've worked out, if they cut that to four months full pay, two months half pay, they will save £20,000 a year. The number of our colleagues that have that length of sickness is very small and usually it's someone who's got a very severe illness. We can contrast that with our principal, who already has a plush office at Clapham, but also has got the college to spend £35,000 to refurbish his office in Vauxhall and it's an office he rarely uses. We had the highest turnout in a, in a ballot of over 70% with about a 96% vote for all out strike action. It's, a, it's the most positive uh, ballot result we've had for strike action and that was for all out strike action. Our employers unfortunately went to the courts and they've got an injunction to stop us. Some of my colleagues over in Brixton they have to go to WH Smith to get pens and papers to run their classes. And yet he's prepared to spend tens of thousands of pounds going to court. If they're able to force this contract onto us at Lambeth College, you can rest assured that this will be rolled out across the country in every other further education college. The cut will affect the support staff as well. So Unison are united with us. They are going to be balloting very, very soon to go on strike. We shouldn't forget the management's proposals to shut the Brixton Centre, a centre that's been there again for almost a hundred years, providing the community with excellent second chance education. Workers United, United will never be defeated. United will never be defeated. United will never be defeated. Yeah, you know, but we understand. What's your reckon there? What is it? Just clearly marks. What is what? I know, but I don't think. No, it's just, it, it, you know what? It makes it easier. Who yeah, moved, yeah. moved it this way? Who <laughs> moved it this oh, way? No, 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 that's not mine. You overstepped it because you're on the hand. The workers united will never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated. We haven't picked a fight with them, they picked this fight, there's no need to put these contracts on, they've got no justification financially, we've asked for a costing, there isn't one. Every claim they've made, we've said, you know, give us the evidence and, and they can't provide it. We do care passionately about teaching, that's why we came into this profession and if these contracts go through, then the education of students will suffer if we are working longer hours with the threat of no sick pay, teachers will not be able to cope. Now, like all public services since austerity started, 
started, we've been doing more for less for the last four years. You know, we are stretched to the limit, but we want to give a good service to students. We are finding it really difficult, especially at, at Vauxhall and Brixton, which is where the centres are, you know, really run down and really need investment. You know, we, do, we don't have anything. We don't have post-it notes. We don't have, I've recycled my dividers so many times now that I'm having to tip X out the originals and they're falling apart. You know, we, we don't have the basic things that we need to teach a lot of the time. Mark Silverman has spent an enormous amount of money on this injunction and we have to demand as a union to say how much money he has spent. That is the first thing. And also I would like to propose that the union pass a motion of no confidence of this man because, because, because we don't have a stationery in our classroom. We are rationalized about photocopies. And this man has, you know, the, 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 has dared, you know, to spend the money that is extremely important for us to carry out our work. And this is insane. We have to go and say, no confidence of this businessman. This man wants to turn our college into a, a, a profit-making organization. We did receive um, some leaked a memo, a leaked email, which were the minutes of management meeting. And in that meeting, they said that anybody, that any teachers that went in today would receive a free lunch. There's no such thing and, and as Frank a free lunch. in the kitchen knows more than anyone about lunches, and Frank no, says there is no such thing as a free lunch. I was in court yesterday with UCU Barrister, with the Head of Legal Services, with your General Secretary, defending your right as workers to take action when they attempt to force through draconian terms and conditions. You have the full backing of your national union. They can throw injunctions at us, they can threaten us, they can do whatever they need. Right is on our side. It is quite simple, it is quite straightforward. Withdraw the new contract. We'll come and talk to you, but we have to have the contract withdrawn. What's been said is that if we reword the ballot with wording that's agreed by the court, then we can reballot and go out. UCU have said they can turn that around inside of two weeks. So the proposal that we're putting forward this committee is does this branch accept that we will make sure that we can do it inside of two weeks and if that's the case then we go for a reballot. Yes. Okay, um, well that's fantastic. Um, I think the important thing is that we want to win this dispute and what we want to send a message to the principal is stop talking to lawyers and talk to the unions instead. Yes. It's not just now about the contracts. It's about them trying to stop us from our legal and democratic right to protest. So get everyone to the rally tonight at six o'clock. People like Mark Silverman are making a very bad situation far, far worse. There is something like 15%, 15% of people in this country who don't have any qualifications whatsoever. That's one in five in 50 boroughs in this country. And they're sacking lecturers in one college alone, in Hatfield College, 180 lecturers. Yesterday were told they could lose their jobs. 34% of cuts. 34% in the last three years in further education. I think adult education is on its last legs unless we can build a campaign to stop it. They want to drive through a different vision, a different version of what further and adult education should be. More uh, employer-led rather than student-centred learning. Edinburgh College recently took strike action, indefinite strike action, or threat of it. Took the two days, then four days, and they won everything. And in their leaflet they put out, they simply said this, the conditions that teachers teach in are the conditions that students are learning. Unison, alongside UCU, are balloting for strike action. And we've been clear with our members that we are asking them also to vote for indefinite strike action. And we've been campaigning for a yes vote on that basis. When he went for that injunction, he changed the nature of this dispute. It's no longer just a dispute for everybody in Lambeth, protecting our college. It's no longer just nationally relevant for everyone in FE. This is now a dispute for the entire Labour movement. We are seeing exactly the same thing happening in schools. There is a drive to reduce our wages, to reduce our holidays. Uh, and they're doing it through the free school and academy movement, which is a privatisation uh, tool. I just want to talk a bit 
about this Save Brixton College campaign because the man who wants to open the Trinity Free School on the site of the college, it's very stark the difference between what he wants to aim his school at and what you currently serve. He says we need to think about what kind of immigrant population we have here. The Polish immigrants are profit centres, the Somali immigrants are not profit centres. On his website he had a picture of white children he sent three white men in suits to consult us, the community. Hello, my name's Rob. I'm uh, one of the union reps, uh, back to union reps at the Ritzy. I'm sure any of you who have spent any time in Brixton in the last couple of weeks kind of failed to have missed our strikes and our campaigning. Virtually the entire workforce at the Ritzy and at all picture houses um, are on zero hours contracts, including most of the managers. Um, most of us are paid um, below the poverty line at 7.24 an hour and I think it's intrinsically linked to your struggle because this is about people generally not having a future really. Have you seen the house prices in Brixton? Yeah. Lambeth, the highest rising in the country? Someone's <laughs> making bloody money and it ain't us. Already we've had people from McDonald's and KFC, the electric in Brixton, talking to us about unionising and stuff like that. You know, this is not just about us and it's not just about Lambeth College. This is about saying enough is enough. What do we want? Living wage! What do we want?